Okay, so we're going to be doing the ruby straps today. Um, we're going to be doing this in three parts. We're going to have the straps. We're going to do the recessed zipper. And we are going to be doing the bag itself. Um, my name is Laura. I live in Kentucky. And here we go. On the straps, you're going, I'm not going to mention any dimensions. You have to have the pattern in order to do that. On my straps, I do them just a little bit longer because I like to hold them on my shoulder, on the part of my arm, etc. Uh, my straps are 36 inches long, and I cut them by three because I want them one inch in width. Um, actually, I do them three-fourths in width. That way it fits nicely on my hardware. To begin with, if you don't can't find the center, the best thing to do is draw a line straight down the middle all the way down to the end. We're going to set this one aside because I've got this one already prepped and ready. The next thing you're going to do is just put a little bit of double-sided tape on this end or you can use some glue. I prefer the double-sided tape. Doing my method is just a little bit quicker and put it on the other end too and you'll see my madness here in just a minute. Then put it all the way down the middle where you marked your line. The first thing we're going to do is take this end or the other end, whichever one you prefer, take this off. Well, I'm going to have to raise this end up just a little bit and fold it over about a quarter, half inch wide. Fold it up. Make sure it's nice and even. This is going to hide your um, raw edges, okay? I'm going to do the same to the other end. And just fold it over. Make sure it's nice and even all the way across, okay? Both ends. Now we're going to take this paper off. I'll set it to the side for now. When you're doing this, what I find best to where you don't get any sticky on your needle is when you fold it up, don't put it directly in the middle of your, of your sticky tape. Just kind of put it lightly on the edge. Put it lightly on the edge, like so. And we're going to do that all the way down. And it should be, when you're doing it three inches wide, it should be just about, oh five-eighths of an inch, if that, and just scoot it all the way down. Make sure it all stays even. Take your other hand, do this, that way it stays, but don't put your edge all the way to the middle of the double-sided tape. If you do, your needle will get sticky, and if it does, it's an easy cleanup. Just take an alcohol swab um, or an alcohol prep pad, most of us have, and just wipe your needle off. Do the other side now, but you're not going to go in the middle. You should have a gap in there about an eighth of an inch. Okay? And we're going to do the other side now. Like I said, just take your fingers, keep wiping it down to where it stays nice and firm. It likes to stick on you. Just raise it up. It's double-sided tape. It's very friendly. I'm trying to make sure you guys see everything. I'm in a room that's very small today. So that's how we're going to do it. Now, when you fold it in half, when you fold it in half, see, it's going to actually go in half without having that thick crease right there because we didn't go all the way in the middle. Okay? So that's why you don't want to go all the way down in the middle because of that. Okay, now that looks pretty thick, right? So what you do is just take a pair of scissors, raise this up just a little bit, and nip this corner. Nip this corner. When you fold it in half, you don't have no raw edges. Well, I do. And you just got to play with it. You just tuck that down in there. Like so, like so. Just gotta play with it. You don't want those raw edges to show. 
and like that. And by the time I get done stitching it, it will not show. And I'm going to put a clip on the end, okay? When you go down the end, um, you are going to now, about an eighth of an inch, like this. We're going to go down the whole side, and we're going to leave about an eighth of an inch there. When we get ready to sew this, we're going to sew right on top of that edge all the way down. I use about a 3.5. Uh, you can use a 3. Some people use this 4. I'm using a domestic sewing machine today on the Ruby, so we're going to be using a 3.5. On my industrial, I use a 4.0. So that's what we're going to do now is we're just going to prep it. I have over 700 binding clips because I do a lot of production style. I'm usually doing anywhere between 15 to 30 bags or wallets at a time. So I have tons and tons of binding clips. You do have to excuse my hands. I have a nervous condition in my hands where I have slight tremors. So if you do see that, please ignore it. It's not embarrassing to me anymore because I have found out what it is. I just want to make sure that there is an eighth of an inch all the way down. All the way down. Okay. Then when I get ready to put on my my hardware, my D-ring, or slip this through, what I do is I slip, I make a slight mark right here, and it's usually about two, about an inch and a half. Then I fold it on that mark, and when I put it on the D-ring, or the rectangle ring, or your strap connector, whatever you're using, then you have enough room to do a perfect box that you sew on, and then you can put your rivets in however you wish. I would suggest for you to really make that mark on your sewing machine with your stitches, the rectangle mark, or your box with the X in the middle because that will help give it more security when people are carrying it and purchase it from you so your straps do not break in half or come apart which I've heard some ladies have problems with. So just take the extra time and sew that box on so that way you don't have any problems or any returns because that would be your fault. And I've still got to clip this end. So what we're gonna do is just clip it. Clip it, make sure it meets, I'm doing it this way, and it doesn't, so I'm going to put a binding clip right here too, a binding clip right here. Don't be afraid to use your binding clips, your alligator clips, on cork and vinyl I would not use pins, it will leave holes, and that's not pretty, but see this is what we do, you just fold it and you sew, make sure you got an eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch. If you put it all the way to the end, see, you're not gonna be able to really stitch that down and there's gonna be a little gap right there that's gonna to get to be played with and it does wear down. So put it close to about an eighth of an inch as you can and when you sew, go real slow and go just as close to that edge as you can all the way down. And then on this side, see the tape is in the middle, right? So if you go an eighth of an inch in, you're not going to have no sticky. So that's why we do it that way. And just do it all the way down. And that's how you do it. Simple as that. So on the next one, we're going to be doing the recess zipper. And then we're going to be doing our handbag. Thank you. Have fun.